Hi guys, my name is Adam and welcome to my new video. In this one, I'm gonna take a quick look at the new release 13.4.1 update to the iOS and iPadOS. Apple released this one on Tuesday and I installed it on my iPhone 11 Pro Max and also on my 11 inch iPad Pro. Is there anything new in this update and should you update to it right away? Let's find out. Here we go. Last week, I made a video about the first beta of iOS 13.4.5 and I was thinking about why Apple skipped all these versions and one of my theories was that they want to beta test 13.4.5 for a longer period of time, but they may still want to push out a new update to fix the most pressing bugs in the system. And that is exactly what happened with the release of 13.4.1. Apple did not beta test this one and they just released the final version to the public. According to the release notes, this one fixes few annoying bugs which were discovered over the past few weeks. So what are those? The first bug that Apple fixed in iOS 13.4.1 is in the FaceTime app. After the release of iOS and iPadOS 13.4, it was discovered that you unfortunately can make FaceTime calls between devices running the 13.4 and older devices running iOS 9.3.6. Many people still own an iPhone 4S for example, or iPad 2 or 3, which are running iOS 9.3.6, and now you could not connect with them on FaceTime. But it was not known if this is the bug, or if it's intentional and Apple is just cutting the FaceTime support for older devices. Well, now we know that it was a bug, and it's now fixed in 13.4.1, so you can make FaceTime calls to your friends with older Apple devices once again. The second annoying bug that this update fixed has to do with the Bluetooth section in the settings app. It was found out that when you use 3D or haptic touch on the settings icon and you want to choose the Bluetooth from the quick actions menu on iOS 13.4, it often crashed and you were not able to open the Bluetooth section in settings that way. According to the release notes, this appears to be fixed in iOS 13.4.1. Alongside the iOS 13.4.1, Apple also released iPadOS 13.4.1 as they usually do, because these two operating systems are basically one. In the release notes of iPadOS 13.4.1, Apple listed the same two fixes as in the iOS. So FaceTiming between newer iPads and older ones with iOS 9.3.6 is now made possible once again and a settings app crash when opening the Bluetooth section from the home screen is also fixed for iPads. But iPadOS 13.4.1 adds one more fix that is only exclusive for the newest 2020 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pros. It appears that when you tap on a flashlight icon in a control center or on the lock screen, then sometimes the flash would not turn on. This bug is now fixed in the iPadOS 13.4.1. And that's all for the fixed issues in this newest update. At least the known fixes. Because Apple sometimes fixes bugs and does not announce it in the release notes. So there's a chance that there's more resolved issues with this particular update. But as of now, it is still not known if Apple fixed the VPN issue, which I talked about in the iOS 13.4.5 beta video last week. If they did not, then I would probably anticipate iOS 13.4.2 update in the upcoming week or two. I also believe that the second beta of 13.4.5 is right around the corner and will be released this week or early next week. And maybe it's even out already by the time you're watching this video. As of performance and battery life, there's not much to talk about with the 13.4.1. Everything seems exactly the same as on the previous 13.4 release. I've been testing this update for the past 24 hours and there were no stutters, no lags and no app crashes. Everything is smooth on my 11 Pro Max and also on my 11 inch iPad Pro. It's too soon to judge battery life, but from my experience I wouldn't expect any major changes in battery life as these minor updates usually don't improve upon it. So I think there's no reason not to update to this version and you can do it right away. So guys, that's it for today's quick video. I'm pretty glad that Apple is still hard in work fixing all these iOS 13 issues. Did you install 13.4.1 and what's your experience with this update? Let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video, it helps me a lot. 
Also consider subscribing for more content like this. Until the next time, have a great day, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home if possible and see you in the next video. Bye!